What's up, people? This is A.W. Brown for the Intelligent Podcast, and it is Wednesday, January the 6th. Now, once again, we have more rumors floating around about the NX, and because of that, people are talking crazy with the whole sales, 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 trying to say what is successful, what's not successful, saying that Nintendo's going to flop and fail and have to bail out the console division if the NX doesn't sell, and all other kind of crazy things, is if they understand how sales work. But that's just the thing. They don't. In fact, none of us really do unless the developers themselves or console manufacturers themselves tell us, hey, we have to sell these many to be successful to get a sequel or to make another console. A prime example of this on a smaller scale would be the game Etrian Odyssey. Why Etrian Odyssey? Well, Etrian Odyssey has been around for a while. For a while. And if you look at the sales for it, and you were one of those people who just ride the sales chart and act like that's such a big deal, you would probably think it's a flop until you realize that there's eight games in this series. That's right. Etrian Odyssey is a perfect example to prove that this is false. Sales don't matter nearly as much as you think they do because, well, Etrian Odyssey has been around since the DS days. There are eight games in total in the series, seven seven main series and one spinoff with the Mystery Dungeon. Now, Etrian Odyssey, over the course of these eight games, has sold less than two million over eight games. But wait, that means it's a flop. That means it's doomed, right? Wrong, because we don't know how much it costs to turn a profit from sales with this game, nor do we know how many it has to sell for them to consider it successful. I would guess that the threshold is not too high, since on average the games would sell like a good 100,000 or something like that. And the highest selling one is at 340,000. So it doesn't really take a lot to fund something like Etrian Odyssey. In fact, the only time we knew that the exact amount that it took to get a sequel was right before the launch of Fire Emblem Awakening. Because around that time, they were making it known that this is going to be the last Fire Emblem in the series, so it needs to do a quarter million. Well, the fans heard that and they jumped into action and now this is the highest selling Fire Emblem that's going past the two million mark. So that's the only time we know exactly how much something needs to get a sequel. So everything doesn't have to have a million sales. You can't call things a flop because it didn't live up to your sales standards. And worrying about the sales is pointless anyway. You're a gamer. We play games, not sales. Yeah, I hear what some of you are saying. Hey, Dub, that's a game. That's not a console. It's different. Yes, you're right. It is a console. It is different. In fact, it's different easier when it's a console. Because at the end of the day, a game can only sell once. Once. And make money once. That's it. You know, one person buys a game, two people buy a game, you know. You can't, unless there's DLC for it. Unless there's DLC for it, a game can sell and make money once. Whereas with a console, you have multiple games that are bringing in money to make another console. That can sell multiple different times. There's DLC, there's add-ons, there's things like Amiibos, there's all other kind of things. So when we look at the Wii U, people think, oh, it's, it's, doing, it's doing horrible, it's not. Okay, it's clearly not doing as good as, say, the PS4 is doing. But that does not mean, oh, they have to jump out the race. Because Amiibos have been selling pretty good. The games on the Wii U have been selling pretty good. There's uh, Pokemon Go coming out, which is a free-to-play that I know is going to generate a lot of money and has been selling pretty good. So, uh, there's a Nintendo theme park coming that also is going to generate money, which I know is going to be pretty good. The Nintendo has other things going on. And then alongside that, they also have the 3DS, which has hit $60 million. So if we really just add in all dedicated gaming systems, From Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo, dedicated gaming systems combined, Nintendo has actually sold the most dedicated gaming systems this gen. They just have. So, do you hear how silly that sounds? Like, hey, they sold the most systems this gen, period, so they need to stop making consoles. No, just make another console that can sell closer to the amount of what their handhelds sell. There's no dropping out, there's no, this is the end, Nintendo jumping out. That's ridiculous. So pretending like you know how sales work and pretending like you know what in the world is in Nintendo's bank and pretending like you know that, hey, they need to jump out or or not jump out is ridiculous. 
Because at the end of the day, we're gamers and we should not care about sales. We should care about the game. As long as as long as long Nintendo doesn't come out themselves and say, hey, this is our last console, enjoy it, you should be good. And to the best of my knowledge, they have not done that yet. So until next time, this is AW Brawler saying, be you, be true, be human. AW Brawler, out.